What if I told you guys that there was a treasure worth $20 million waiting in the ground and that you could find it? Stay tuned in this video to see what I'm going to tell you. What's up guys, my name is Britton Lockhart and welcome to my YouTube channel called Depths of History. In this video today, I'm gonna bring you some tips and tricks on how metal detecting can introduce you to the historical treasures that you can find in America. And these three techniques are research, documenting, and metal detector products. So if you're watching this video, you either want to know how to make a lot of money metal detecting or you want to know how to research historical sites so that you can find a bunch of cool relics from the past. And honestly, guys, either one of these opinions are great to get started with metal detecting. You can go on the beach and find rings and jewelry and money. You can go to old home sites, Civil War sites and things like that to find historical relics that lie beneath the surface. Throughout my nine years of metal detecting, I found a lot of cool historical items as well as gold, including gold rings, gold pendants, and things like that that have been of value that I have sold. Some of the items that are historical and that are personal to me, I keep, mainly just because it's my personal preference and I really like collecting pieces of history and documenting them with the sites that they came from. And that's what I wanted to get into with today's video. There are so many metal detectors out there in a lot of brands. Personally, the brand that I use is Technetics Metal Detectors, and the reason for that is, is because once I metal detect a site, usually the sites that I hit are loaded with iron. That includes nails, pull tabs, and a bunch of trash that really you just don't want to dig up. With my Technetics T2 metal detector, I'm able to go into sites with compassion and pride, and I'm able to find so silver coins, relics, bullets, guns, anything that you can think of with just the switch of a button and the swing of a coil. I'm not coming to you to say that there are other brands that are really good, but I'm just letting you know that personally my preference is Technetics metal detectors. I found over 4,000 Civil War bullets, a um, bunch of silver coins, US buttons. And also I wanna let you guys know that there are treasures all over America. A lot of people actually buried their life savings. Um, that's another thing that people do not take into consideration and it's a thing that also could land you a really historical find. Now there are still many treasures waiting to be found, including one up in the Rocky Mountains by Forrest Finn back in the 1980s and he buried a portion of his savings in the Rocky Mountains and has never been found. There are a couple other awesome treasures that have never been found as well that go back to even the Civil War. I know throughout Georgia during Sherman's March to the Sea, he buried countless amounts of gold coins and things along the railroads in my area. I think I'm giving away a little bit too much information, but personally, Personally, I've been looking for treasure and you can too. It's honestly for anybody who wants to get out there with a metal detector and see what they can find. Going back to treasure hunting though, you can do it. Anybody can. Anybody can pick up a metal detector, research a site, and find cool things. And I suggest that you do it because not only can you find some really cool valuable items, but you can also learn about your, the history of the states and the countries that you live in. Whether you be in England, there's so much medieval history up there, Roman history, Saxon history. America, you know, there's Civil War history, there's colonial history, there's gold rush history out in the West. It never ends, guys. I mean, there's there's so many opportunities. And I hate when people say like, well, where do I start? You know, what do I do? All you have to do is research. Research is 100% what you need to do when you're starting relic hunting. Honestly, I go to the libraries and I just look at old maps of where old houses used to stand. And I also go online and look for old maps and documents and things like that. You guys need to know, and history needs to be found, and it doesn't need to just stay in the ground and not be discovered. It could be you next that finds a million dollar treasure. Comment below some treasures that you think have never been found. And also, if you guys have any treasure stories, please let me know. I'm going to show you a little bit of my collection from metal detecting over the nine years that I've been doing this hobby. And it has been fascinating. And there's so much treasure waiting to be found. So grab a metal detector and come with me. So here are a few things that I found metal detecting within the nine years that I've been in this hobby, almost 10 years, and I have found so many cool things ranging from the 1600s all the way to the present. And also I went to England and found a few things from the Roman time period and also from the 1400s. 
and the 1300s. So let's get into seeing what I found over this amazing time period and let's see what amazing relics that I found. There's honestly so many pieces of history in here that I think are really interesting and you can find them too. That's one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because you guys can pick up a metal detector and find any of this. Anything is possible. So let's see what I found so far. So right here we have a couple of Civil War belt plates that I found. These are from the 1860s. Um, they're really cool. This one is actually my favorite. It's an Eagle Sword belt plate and you never find these metal detecting. I'm surprised I even found one metal detecting. Um, I found it in Tennessee and it was about six inches deep in the ground. Not too bad of a signal either. It rang up really nice. I've also found various other Civil War plates. This is a Civil War breastplate from a Union soldier. Um, also found this U.S. plate that is pretty nice as well. These are some of my South Carolina finds. Now a lot of you guys ask me what these are and these are actually pipe stems from the colonial time period. And I also have a pipe bowl, pipe bowl right there. And that you can see it's got a little bit of a cool design on it. Now here is a treasure coin. This coin is absolutely incredible. This is a Spanish cob, and honestly guys, I think there might be a treasure chest nearby where I found this because you don't find only one coin in one specific area. They, usually when people had these, they had either um, a chest or like something similar to that nature. So it was crazy how I found that in Charleston, South Carolina. I also found several arrowheads, flat buttons, and various other cool things. All of this up here, these are all Civil War relics. I live in a town where there was skirmishing and battles of all different types, and I have found many cool things. Highlighting some, including, these are some Civil War buttons and Seminole War buttons that I found in Florida. Musket balls, mini balls, pottery, and silver coins and they all range from different time periods. These are also some different finds that I found in Virginia. You can travel almost anywhere with this hobby and find so many different cool historical items relic hunting. This is my most recent trip to Florida. If you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. We found so many cool musket balls and old buttons and coins. That was with my friend Nick. This is one of my favorite finds here. This is a Civil War 20 pound Parrot artillery shell. I found this about probably six years ago and I got it diffused through Steve Phillips and we did an amazing job preserving it and it looks great for the collection. Um, there were only a couple of these two fired at the battle site that I was at and I actually know exactly which battery fired the shell, which is really, really cool. This is an exploded one and you can see all of the case shot that's in it. And what would happen is when they would fire a shell, it would explode and all of the case shot would splatter out everywhere. I found a lot of cool things in Virginia on my last trip back in 2016, including some old pocket knives, rosettes, rings, coins and buttons. These are some more Civil War relics that I found in Alabama. Mainly bullets is a lot of what we find. We find some really, really cool Civil War bullets. These are some silver coins that I found and they need head pennies and all types of old different coins. You really just never know what you're gonna find. This is one of my favorite cases. This is Charleston, South Carolina where I went metal detecting for a week with my friend Jay. And we found so many colonial artifacts. These are large scents from the 1600s. Old Civil War Marines button. A bunch of arrowheads, musket balls, and other cool objects. These are some old buttons that I found over the years.
This is one of my favorite finds. This is a Stuart crystal button from the 1700s. This is my display case that talks about the Stuart crystal button. If you'd like to pause and read that, you can. These are some rocks that I found in Dahlonega in crystals. Many different types of crystals found. I always like doing that every now and again. And these are my finds from the River Thames in England. We went mudlarking and found a bunch of pipe stems and old pottery. So these are just a few of the items that I found within my nine years of metal detecting. Honestly, it's been an amazing experience and I'm gonna be continuing with this hobby for as long as I live and watch my collection grow. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're already at 20,000 subscribers, which is amazing. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and pick up a metal detector because it could change your life. Thank you.